what's up everybody i have returned my beard is a little bit crazy today well i have another review for you guys um it's a power supply here i go i always say um 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 i'm like the um king i'm gonna try not to do that anymore because i've watched my own videos and i kind of sound like an idiot you know anyway and I say anyway a lot too. What the fuck? This is the compact made by the Piranha Tattoo Company. Now, this is a power supply and it's uh, made in Portugal. Um, these guys did something really interesting with their power unit um i like the way the box comes as you can see it's kind of like a cardboard style well not really cardboard but kind of like cardstock paper you get a little picture of the power unit there and then you open whoa. yeah you have these uh little guidelines here showing you stuff and little pamphlet that opens up like that pretty cool um um <laughs> here's what the power supply looks like it says piranha on it and yeah you have your clip cord and foot switch and you have a knob here this power supply won an award in Europe for design and it's really puts out some clean power. That's what I like about it. Um, man, I can't stop saying um. I don't know why. I always do that. When I'm trying to think of something else to say, the ums come out. <laughs> so I'm going to plug this in for you. So you guys can see, let me get my extension cord over here. Okay, so when you plug it in, it kind of turns on and you can automatically adjust your voltage. Now, if you double tap, it'll go into a mode where you can select P1, which is the first mode, it's a preset mode for a machine. Then you can go to P2, P3, P4. And within those presets, you can set up your voltage, however much you want it to be at. If you want to go out of that mode, just double tap and you're automatically out of it. You don't need to use a foot switch with this power unit either. You just tap it and it'll start running the machine. Tap it again, it, when it's blinking, it's not running the machine. So that's pretty cool. Also, I just like it. Um, it's really nice and small, it's really lightweight. You can literally, literally put it in your pocket, just like that. Kind of like an ad that they have for it on their Instagram page, you know, if you ever need to walk around. Um, mine didn't have this silver ring here. Uh, I kind of dropped it and got like a little chip. So I just decided to take my Dremel and give it a little bit of an accent. And I think that it adds to it. Um, if Piranha does see this, I think they should make their voltage adjustment knob like that. Cause it does look pretty cool and does add to the rest of the design very well. Now it does have magnetic knobs here. So yeah, these are magnetic and they're also rubberized, so they're non-skid. But I have found when bagging it, if you're not using a magnetic surface, it's, uh, it's not really sufficient with the rubber, obviously, because it's bagged and it's, you know, it's not gonna stick to a surface or anything. And I also wanted to talk about uh, something with the cayenne pen. 
I don't think that in my previous video I had mentioned this with this machine and it's I feel very important with it so it's just a little addition to this review on the Piranha power unit but the Cayenne pen for you guys that do have one and that don't know the entire motor housing comes out just like that the top you could just screw it and unscrew it you can pull it out completely and there's your fall halber motor it is a fall halber motor it does say fall halber i don't know if you guys could see that mm, it's not good lighting but yeah it is a fall halber motor And you can clean this entire body here, which is, to me, that's just pretty awesome. That you can just fully take this machine apart and just spray it down, let it sit. I'm not sure if you can autoclave this. I have not autoclaved it or tried to autoclave it. And I wouldn't recommend trying to autoclave it because you probably don't want to do that, especially with the O-rings here on it because those will melt. But it's pretty cool that you can do that with this machine. That's why this pen is probably one of my favorite pen style machines. I have not tested the Matrix yet from Peak. But I will probably be testing that in the future. So Peak does have disposable grips coming out for the Cayenne pen and the Matrix pen. They're also working on a new pen, which is a total new design for them. I'm not sure what it's going to be. I am sponsored by them, but I have no idea what they're doing with that new pen. I don't know if it's going to have adjustable give, adjustable stroke, or if it's just going to be something, you know, simple and affordable like what they have now. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that review, and I'll catch you all on the flip side. Have a good night.